Hello guys and welcome to our penultimate video on crafting a Age of Empires 2 Frank Barracks. In today's episode of Abijin's SketchUp Workshop we'll be continuing that project. And here it is in all its blocky goodness. So for comparison we have a Vietnamese barracks building and here is our Frankish barracks building with all its European features oh yeah look at those windows look at those European floors and those st stone walls just perfect amazing so we added a few little details such as well uh, we added these wines so now we're going to add a few more extras uh, we're going to use this shield as a sort of extra decoration so we're going to explode it and just quickly gather some hmm, in model textures so this is going to be great so let's see okay mm -hmm. I need to purge this model I'm going to show you how to do that maybe <laughs> if the need arises okay oh yeah this is fine leather so this is a fine leather material so remember you need to view the geometry and then you can paint the textures properly so we're just gonna put this here oh or maybe this one which is hay okay not hay so let's give it a go so let's just project these textures everywhere so this is nice and shiny okay so this shield will be a little decoration and we're going to just put it here and increase its size a little bit so that it is more relevant we're going to tilt it and lean it onto the wall okay there we go now the shield has been added as a decoration and because it looks a bit bigger than the other shields we're going to size it down so that's one of our pretty much final decorations we're going to explode it to keep it in this group And once that happens, of course, everything will go haywire with the textures. Oh, hoo-ha. So let's do it again. There we go. Now it's perfect. Now we're going to take this shield and we're going to put it against the door here. A little bit of extra fiddling. And there we go. Now I'm not sure it's going to be visible, but we're going to put it there just in case. So that's as... So... That's the decorations I aimed at. We have the arch, we have the foliage, we have the shields, the banners, the everything is in position. Now, we need to prepare the model for rendering. So, the software I'm using for rendering is the Twilight Render. It's a free software, well, there's a free version of it, which you can use, and I highly recommend using that one first. So. Before uh, moving in, we're going just going to go to the model info and purge unused. So we're going to purge all the textures that are not used by this model. Trust me, I use this for a couple of models and they're just leftover textures. Okay, so after this has been purged, I'm going to walk you through the software. So this software can add lightning and it can add something even more important bump maps to your textures so let's see uh, for this one we're going to just add some light bump maps so you uh, click the template materials take a sample and just so change the bump map to SketchUp increase its value we'll do 4000 for this one as you can see it gained a little bit of roughness so let's do this for all the others as well just to make sure of course a higher value will really be beneficial for some textures so we're gonna even go as far as 7000 for our wall texture you know to make it extra let's see what effect we shall achieve okay very good and now this one as well uh, I would go as far as to put this at 6000 you know this is just for to gain a feeling so you will have to probably re-render your model uh, or the models you're making in the future a couple of times in order to you know come up with the p 
perfect settings for your render. So just go through all the textures you want to increase. So this one will be at 5,000 because I want these little uh, wooden elements to stick out once the render is finished. And even be as bold as to... Uh, so the texture, which who, so we changed the RGB value of the texture to be a player purple color. Remember, uh, if I haven't mentioned, purple is the best color for player colors. Why? Because it stands out the most. If you use white, later software will mis, uh, misunderstand you and, for example, using the gray or blue color will cause all water and all walls to be considered player color, which is not what you want. So, we're gonna steal these little swords from this barracks and we're going to just move them here. I just spot, I just spy them, they're really good. But we need to talk about this a bit for a second. Uh, these swords are actually too narrow. So let's broaden them. And you're going to say, but swords do not look like that. Well, yeah, they tell that to Age of Empires. And it's, uh, let's say, color scheme, which would actually make these swords barely visible. So good job, swords, for hanging in there. Okay, so they will be our swords, and we're going to gonna copy them over here as well, whilst actually removing one of them. Ooh, this is a very old group. I made these swords ages ago, so I had no idea they were this fancy. So we have added textures to pretty much everything, so let's talk about lightning. So I think that this little barracks has a little bit of lightning inside it. Yes, it does. So we're going to steal this light source from it, and we're going to talk about making a new light source. So here you have create light. Uh, click two surfaces, or three, to create a light. And now you can set its values any way you wish. So let's edit this light. So this light actually is in lumens. I noticed that lumens are a little bit softer in this software. So I use them. And we have increased the radius and everything. So the radius to 6 and 3,500 lumens. So you want this. You don't want a soft shadow, trust me, for this. Point lightning. So just remember this so this setup, uh, and it's going to be fine. Maybe even 4,500. Let's check if that's any good. So you can see here. Okay, very sharp, very nice. So now you basically put this circle anywhere where you want a light source to emanate from now it's pretty important to notice that according you know this is going to be easier if your computer is a bit faster so always count on that and there we go the barracks set up and ready for rendering so we press the render button and here are my settings so this you need this resolution of rend for rendering, so 1080p, high settings, no need to go further, all content. Now, uh, basically I have a little issue, I've been fiddling with the software and I have messed up my uh, render selected. So I could usually select a object and render only that one, but I messed that up so I have to render the whole model, which takes a longer time which slows me down personally but if you have a fresh download of Twilight Render and SketchUp it's actually going to be perfect so let's see here okay so shooting photons now you have noticed that I have clicked the stop render button but I have not yet accepted so I will I will walk you through this walk you through this so now we are doing ray tracing and when we come to the AA part anti-aliasing we stop it that's it this is our render ladies and gentlemen in all its glory so thank you very much uh, for watching so this is the render we wanted as you can see the wall is tough it has these indentions, the roof is a little bit, uh, uh, you know, it's not quite flat, the bump map is really uh, turning, into, in, turning into quite something, and everything else is also 
just the way I want it. So in the next part we're going to edit this and probably prepare it for being put into the game. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you will leave uh, comments below in the video if you have any questions. And of course subscribe for more content like this. Thank you very much.